Hey YouTubers, if you've got a busted SD card where the Write Protect tab has come loose, or in this case, completely missing, and additionally the tape fix hasn't held up, watch on for a potential solution. Now before we continue with the solution, I do need to caution, please watch the caveat section because there are precautions you need to take, as well as considerations before trying this solution. With that out of the way, let's get on with the rest of the video. For this particular card, the Write Protect tab got loose every time I inserted it in. It just kept going into the Protect mode, thereby wasn't able to format or edit the files on there. So that got really annoying. And as you can see here, I did apply the Scotch tape trick, but unfortunately that hasn't held up in over time, a short period of time actually, it stopped working. So eagle-eyed observers probably noticed that I do have this aluminum tape here, and this is the potential solution. So those who have worked with aluminum tape before realize how difficult it is to peel when it's in large chunk like this. It gets even more insanely difficult if you cut into small pieces. So what I'd recommend is to peel off the backing first and then to cut off small pieces. Now I've already cut off a small strip here, but I'm gonna further cut this in half. The idea is to only be able to be thick enough to cover the non right protection side. Next, once you get the tape, you're going to cover up as close as possible to the top. And you actually want to overlap this edge here. So that way this doesn't tuck into the right protection groove, but rather the edge of the SD card. Then what you're going to do is you actually want to fold it upwards at an angle like that. And the reason will become apparent in a second. Then you want to just trim off the excess. Next, take your nail or a flat object and just make sure you really embed the aluminum into the SD card because you want as little lift up as possible, both the front and the back side. Now, remember the reason why we angled this up was produce a gap here. So that way now you're gonna fold that in to give it additional structure so that it mimics a physical object in there. And you're gonna squeeze that together So give just enough substance over here on the edge so that way when you plug it in, it will recognize this as a tab, quote unquote. So now to conduct a physical test to see if this worked, I'm gonna plug into my SD card reader here. And that's no issues. Eject. It is a little bit tougher, but still not an issue to use it. And this is the caveat that I mentioned was you do need to make sure that this is absolutely flat so that, and this side as well, so it doesn't catch on the edges within a physical device. Normally, if the SD card is in write protect mode, you will see that the camera will give a card error. Now we shall try the same with the fixed card. And there you can see, it shows how many pictures it's able to take, so no issues there. Pop it out, no problems. Going to try formatting it now. Give it the two finger salute. And there you go, you can see no issues. For those who may not have a camera or just want to see the card fixed on the computer, so here's the card, as you can see, it was formatted by my Nikon DA50, so it has the root folder there. Just gonna simply add a new folder here. I'm also going to do a quick format here. And you can see that the card is able to be written over again. Before we close out this video, I did want to address a few caveats. So first is do this at your own risk, because even though this should be way more robust than the standard tape in the long run, the aluminum tape is reasonably thin, so it might also wear over time, especially depending on how you do this corner right here. So again, you want to make sure that you really push it in and it doesn't protrude out so as to catch on anything. You should also examine this tape to see how it's holding up in the long run. If you see any lifting whatsoever, completely remove it and just redo it. Now, if you're attempting to fix a card that you've already tried to fix with scotch tape, make sure that you lift off all of the scotch tape first and then apply the fix. Otherwise, this additional thickness may cause it to catch and lift. So thereby, again, you've got to take all these necessary precautions and I got to stress, your mileage may vary, do this at your own risk. The last caveat is that, yes, I realize not every one of us has aluminum tape lying around. 
However, they aren't exactly cheap. I think the cheapest one I was able to find was on Amazon. I happen to have it because for HVAC ductwork, but for the rest of us, this is probably the cheapest you're going to find. But I don't know, reach out to your neighbor. Maybe somebody has just a little bit that they could cut off a small strip. You don't need a lot. Like literally a one inch strip would be more than enough for a couple of fixes. But in case you do want to order some and fix your HVAC duct, this is the cheapest I was able to find. And please do feel free to share if you found other places that are cheaper. I will report back how this holds up in the long run, but please do also share your experience in terms of other fixed ideas or how this has worked out for you. Thanks again for watching.